Do you know that thing which you should already be doing, but you haven't even started yet? Or that other thing which you already started, but you left it halfway through without actually finishing it? And what about that gargantuan task, which cannot be done in just one day, and somehow you are leaving it for later, and it's becoming kind of an ever-growing snowball? Well, your problems have ended because today you will meet the Guilty Hour. My name is Seiichi Arata of the Productivity Ninja course, and this is an adaptation of the tip that has been shared by the Action Mill and the Life Hacker people, and this has something very smart for us to be able to get things done. You know, the moments whenever you think, oh, I have so much of those things to do, and kind of makes me feel bad, you know, that type of a distress, this type of feeling, this is normal. You're feeling guilty. That is why we're going to do today the guilty hour technique. And how does it work? First, you got your notebook, you got a pen, take a look at your calendar, and try to find one moment in your calendar that you know for sure that you have available every single week. It could be, for example, every Tuesday from 7 to 8 a.m. or it could be every Sunday from 10 to 11 p.m. This has to be the time that you know for sure you will always have available. Okay? All right. Now, what you're going to do, you're going to book that hour for you. This is going to be your guilt hour. And then when that time comes, what you're going to do, you're going to dedicate two or even three minutes just to be thinking, okay, uh, what are the things that I have to do, but I haven't even been able to start? Or maybe I started, but I didn't finish. What is bothering me? What is distressing me? What is that thing that makes me feel guilty because I'm basically procrastinating? It's really quick, it's two or three minutes at most, because in case you have a gigantic list popping up, just relax, pick only one item. This is crucial. This uh, moment of listing the things should not take more than two, maximum three minutes of your time. Well, and then what are you going to do with the other 57 minutes remaining of your guilt hour? Well, you will get things done. You will do what has to be done. It is super, super simple, isn't it? Well, I like when things are very simple because they work. Then we have no excuses left. We cannot say, well, it was so complicated that I didn't know. Basically, two steps. Step number one, find what is that thing that's making you feel guilty. Step number two, just do it. Here is one extra advice. Um, if you are able to involve other people, that's even better. These other people could be your family, could be your friends, could be people from your office. Set a time frame during which everyone is going to meet up together in order to say the things that need to be done. You guys are going to say it out loud. What is that activity that is going to be performed? And then just go and do it, right? Get things moving. You can tell other people what is this thing that you're going to be doing because it will increase your commitment level. And people around you, they will be expecting you to finish that. Like uh, you're making this small promise. And... Uh, in addition to that, there is one more uh, um, item that I want to show you. Just keep watching this video. See, this is something very interesting about Bruce Lee, about personal productivity and the Guild Hour, which I'm going to talk about soon. Uh, about Bruce Lee, let's start with that. Among many things that made Bruce Lee a legend, one of the most famous things is the one-inch punch. This is a martial arts technique that got pretty popular. This is a punch performed at a one inch, sometimes two or three inches of distance, which is a very short distance, right? And this is quite unusual because in general, if, if you are fighting, uh, to be able to perform a powerful strike, you need to use the entire body, again, momentum to achieve power. So it is quite difficult for you to achieve a powerful punch at a short distance because you have to be very concentrated and you have to have this power of explosion. All right. Okay, but in martial arts, how can you use the one inch punch in a fight? Imagine that you're fighting from a distance and you kick somebody from a certain distance and your opponent is able to block it. What's gonna happen next? Normally, you're face to face to your enemy, you have to go back, 
to be able to give another strike. However, if you master the one inch punch, after your first strike, if it's blocked, you can do this extra attack and it can be quite decisive in that particular combat. But why are we talking about uh, one inch punch here in the video about productivity? Well, the one inch punch is an isolated technique. And if we teach the one inch punch to a person who does not know how to dodge, how to have some endurance and stamina and flexibility, who doesn't know anything about fighting, just understanding that one inch punch is a little bit worthless. Because the best thing that this person could be doing is to meet their friends in a barbecue party and say, hey guys, take a look, I'm gonna break this piece of wood here without having to have a lot of distance. Only one, two centimeters and bam, and breaks a piece of wood. And that's all, nothing else. So what we see here in this video is that uh, the guild hour, which is a very powerful thing, it is quite similar. The guild hour technique is just one isolated technique similar to the one inch punch. It is a cool trick. And I really hope you, you, you can use it and have very good results, right? It's a simple technique, it is useful, but you can also add more ideas, more techniques behind this small technique, and then you have a strategy. A strategy would be Productivity Ninja course, because then you can have all the context necessary for you to have the best out of this single technique and much more. You can take a look at arata.se forward slash time management. Put your email in the form that you're going to see when you go to arata.se time management, and I'll send you a lot of materials. Oh, and I also mentioned that I had uh, some other interesting things to be showing you. And uh, what you're going to see here on the screen is a kitchen timer. You can buy this in any shop with uh, kitchen items. And this is used to be counting how many minutes you have before you're baking something in the oven and before it starts to burn. Okay, what are you going to do with that? You can start your guilt hour. You can get one of these timers. You spin it and then it's going to be doing it. Tick, 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 tick. It's going to make that sound. And you know you have all those 55 minutes or something to be doing what has to be done. So this is something that will help you to not get distracted because you're gonna hear that tick, tick, tick and it's gonna help you. So imagine you have to write your thesis for your school, all right? You're going to spend one hour just doing that, just doing your guild hour. Of course, probably you're not gonna finish, but it's gonna be one solid hour a very good hour of quality doing that activity. You turn on your timer, and then if you're thinking about other things, oh yeah, I have to check my email, oh, I have to, I don't know, uh, wash some clothes, oh, I have to call that friend. Don't let any of that interrupt your guilt hour because you're going to listen to that tick, tick, tick. You know, you have to be committed to doing only that thing, that thing that is causing you to feel guilty because you want to feel better. Right? And then you're going to be doing this. You're going to have a guilt less life ahead. You're going to be happy about your choices. So the timer will be something that's going to help you a lot. And the idea of the timer is based on another technique. It's called the Pomodoro Technique by Francesco Cirillo. And one more time, I really hope uh, you enjoy and you use all these techniques. You can combine both of them. You can use the guilt hour together with the kitchen timer from the Pomodoro technique. And you will have a lot of positive results. You're going to have a life without guilt. And uh, the idea that we have in Productivity Ninja, which is, of course, much more complete than all that, is that we want to enjoy our life. We want to have free time. That's why we want to be more efficient, more productive, because then we can use our time to do things that have to be done, and then we can enjoy later our quality time, and be relaxed, and that's gonna happen after we finish our main activities and commitments. And to actually double your productivity with the full method, you can use the link that I mentioned to you already. You're gonna have access to the entire course, to the members area, and you're gonna see much more. So take a look at the link here on the screen, and thank you so much. I am Seichi Arata of Productivity Ninja.